So I'm gonna make this video super short. So the title of this video is Will Bitcoin Hit $10,000 in Value? I first wanna talk about though why currently Bitcoin is increasing in price. And there's a couple of reasons why. I'm not gonna talk about all the reasons, I'm just gonna talk about some of the main reasons. Reason number one, Korea is buying up Bitcoin left, right, and center. They're opening up exchanges every single day. Number two, Japan is set to open up 10 brand new exchanges this year. So that equals liquidity, that equals buying power, that equals selling power. So the Asian market right now is very hungry for cryptocurrencies and specifically very hungry for Bitcoin. Uh, next thing is the ICOs. There seems to be a brand new ICO almost every single day. And what people are doing with these ICOs is quite simple. They are taking the profits that they make from the ICOs and then they're putting into Bitcoin. They have to protect their profits. They're not going to keep it in these you know, tokens. They're not going to keep it in these brand new cryptos. So if you notice any time that there's green on say coin market cap, or if you notice that you know, the alt marketplace is going crazy with profits, and then you notice another week it's all red, that's because everyone's taking their profits that they make from the altcoins and the tokens, and they're putting them into Bitcoin and Ethereum. And finally, another reason why Bitcoin is increasing in value, it's the original. It has the longest immutable chain, it has history, and due to the scaling issue, which we'll be getting to in a second, due to the scaling issue right now, it seems to be one of the, or well, seems to be the strongest and most statistically proven place to put your cryptocurrency or your other cryptocurrencies into, okay? Now, let's switch gears and talk about will Bitcoin hit 10,000? Well, there's a couple of key things we first have to talk about. We have to talk about the scaling debate right now, the scaling issue between Bitcoin Unlimited, SegWit, and their future proposal for Lightning Network. So just as of today, from the consensus conference, they stated that there could possibly be a user activate soft fork uh, to a signal SegWit, and that may happen around August. Now, there's some issues with that because there is a strong statistical chance that with this user activated soft fork that there actually may be a hard fork, meaning that the original Bitcoin uh, chain will split into two. So you have uh, Bitcoin Unlimited, then you have uh, regular Bitcoin. Now that's a very small probability. I do see a lot of issue with this user activated soft fork, but that being said, I think August, September in the fall is a big, big three months when it comes to Bitcoin. Who knows what's gonna happen? Maybe this SegWit solution is a solution they need to finally go to Lightning Network to scale the issue because right now, there's more than 200,000 backlog transactions on Bitcoin. The transaction fees are too much. A lot of businesses are bogged down and people are fed up. So they're gonna have two options. Either they're gonna leave Bitcoin, go to another chain like Litecoin, which is much better for instant transactions it has segue and the scaling issue is kind of solved at least for now as opposed to staying on Bitcoin or Bitcoin does what it needs to do activate segwits maybe splits in two and everybody goes their own way so yes I actually do believe the Bitcoin depending on what happens with the technological aspect and the political aspect I really do believe it has a strong chance of reaching 10,000 I don't know if it's gonna be the Bitcoin up today I don't know if it's gonna be a new Bitcoin. I don't know if it's gonna be based on the technology today. Uh, there's so many different variables. And it also matters on the ICO landscape. It matters what happens with, for example, Ripple and Ethereum uh, and all these other cryptocurrencies and tokens. But still, you know, I have huge trust and faith in Bitcoin and I think it's gonna stay around for a long time. So to answer your question, I don't think so we're gonna see 10,000 soon. I think we're in a micro bubble. I think we might hit 4,000, 5,000 US on Bitcoin. Then we're gonna see a correction, 50%. So if it's gonna hit 5,000, we'll see a correction down to 2,500, which is not too bad. And worst case scenario, if it does fork, if there are two Bitcoins, you're gonna double up your Bitcoins, right? And then you decide which chain do you wanna stay on. Same thing with Ethereum, Ethereum Classic. And without a shadow of a doubt, I do believe if this fork does happen, yes, for a long period of time, there's gonna be uncertainty, there's gonna be a loss of trust, loss, loss of faith uh, when it comes to the immutable ledger that was Bitcoin. However, I do believe it'll rebound even stronger because now each side will get what they want. This side will get their technological aspect, that side will get their technological aspect, and both will scale how they wanna scale, and I think it's gonna skyrocket from there. There you have it, that's kinda of like my idea around will Bitcoin hit 10,000? Like always guys, I do wanna state this cautionary tale. Please, please listen. Always invest what you can lose. Always invest what you can lose. That's number one. Number two, don't blindly invest. Understand what you're investing in. Understand the team, understand the technology, understand the problem. It's no different than investing in a startup. Number three, don't keep your cryptocurrency and tokens online. Use a hard wallet. I have a link below this. My favorite is Ledger. There's other ones you can use. I'm not opposed to any of them. But those, that's the one I personally like. Number four, okay? Once again, don't invest what you can't lose. And guess what number five is? Don't invest what you can't lose. As simple as that. 
Okay guys, those are my thoughts. If you have any suggestions or comments for me, leave a suggestion or comment below this video and, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.